What will happen, we wonder, on that great day when the fighting services will be needed no longer, when victory is ours and the world is once more at peace? Well, time will tell, so we'll ask him. Say, Pop, what do you think? Well, it was a people's war. Yes, indeed. Everybody, whether a big pot or a Peter Pan, parted with a pot or a pan to be made into planes. As the picture portrays, people packed piles of pots and pans on paths and pavements. The patriotic public were pleased to go potty. The gifts of the kitchen became the sinews of the factory. With plenty of pots and pans, everything was plain sailing. Everybody wanted to make sure that there was no risk of this sort of thing happening, being just one short. When peace came, old Father Time went on, the world was one big arsenal, though the Axis had gone. Ex-private John Jones, a regular swell in the ordinary way, and a man of affairs, underwent a sudden change. Even the dogs showed traces of the war. After all, weren't some of them terriers? Buses had gone, but tanks had come to stay. And this is how you went to work. Famous buildings had been evacuated to the country. They looked rather strange in their rural surroundings. The last onion was in South Kensington Museum, and a whole pound of sugar could be seen with those other priceless treasures, the crown jewels. Newspapers were mostly advertisements. There were special weeks for collecting old planes. And there was a ministry of pots and pans. The old position was now reversed. The plane was urgently needed for the pot. Everyone wanted to return everything, and uh, blimey, what a hope. 